So it was that Mordecai entered Esther into a, a bachelorette contest, knowing the competition included a night in the bed of a Gentile king. He told her to show him a good time and keep her nationality a secret, and she complied. The soft butter of their convictions melted against the warm knife of pragmatism. They buried their Jewish identity beneath layers of compromise. Of course, we, we face the same temptation today. The compulsion to compromise affects us all, not in Persia, but at work, at school, on the bowling league, in the pony league. Everything around us says, conform, be a part of the gang, forget your uniqueness, blend in, fit in. Our society permits all beliefs except an exclusive belief. It says it's okay to do whatever you want as long as you accept what everyone else does. The incontestable value of our culture today is tolerance. Ironically, the champions of tolerance are intolerant of a religion like Christianity that adheres to one savior and one solution to the human problem. To believe in Jesus as the only redeemer is to incur the disdain of Persia. This is why we must remember our true identity. As Peter writes, we are temporary residents and foreigners of this world. Our eternal citizenship is not the one printed on our passports. We are subjects of a different king. We heed a higher law. We follow a greater good. We have the same mandate as the Israelites of the Old Testament, to be caretakers of God's promise. The message of Jesus has been entrusted to us. And we have the hope the world needs, especially a world that is wrapped in winter. This is not the time for us to blend in and assimilate, but to heed God's call and follow his standard. And make no mistake, our standard is still holiness. The same Creator who told the Israelites, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy, also told the church, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will.